Now, real quick, before we get started, I am not encouraging the sales or purchase of any of these uppers. What I'm doing is, is I'm going through a very popular caliber with four different companies and basically just testing them, reviewing them so that you can see what each is capable of. And then you can decide if that's something that you're interested in or not. It's really just simply pr uh, presentation of data, information, thus a review I don't sell anything and I don't encourage the purchase of anything. I'm just simply reviewing these uppers so you can see what each of them does. Now, I'm going to keep this as short and sweet as possible. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. I could do an entire review on why I love the 6.5 Grendel and I've done a ton of reviews on them in the past. The only purpose of this review is to compare the four different uppers. Basically, you know, entry level, the lowest cost, and I don't want to say cheapest, Bear Creek Arsenal, all the way up to the JP Enterprise. I've had that about 20 years. I actually found it difficult to get the specs and tech. You know, the best I got was it was a 22-inch with a 1 and 8 twist barrel. It's, you know, they're cryogenically... A uh, super match barrel, and that's about all I got on that. And then I've got kind of the two in between, the Palmetto State Armory, the PSA, and the Radical Firearms. I've reviewed each of these individually other than the JP Enterprise, and I would encourage you to check out those reviews uh, on the individual uppers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same lower for all of these. It's got a match trigger, and I'm going to use the same ammo, the same procedure, and the same optic. i got a primary arms optic. Uh, it's a sweet optic, and that is going to narrow down the variables. Unfortunately, they're not all exactly the same length barrel with the exact same twist, but, you know, it was the best that I could do. Anyway, I promise to keep it KISS. Check it out. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Okay, let's just get right to it. Let me show you the lower, the optic, the ammo. Let's go through everything and then get to shooting. So for the lower, I'm going to use the exact same lower on all three uppers. I have a PA-15 multi, that's PSA's lower. I've got the mag pull furniture. I've got a trigger tech trigger in there in this thing. I think it's the diamond. Uh, let's just measure that. It's super light, crisp, glass rod-like break. Okay, we're getting two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. I may dial that down. And then I've got a Fab Defense Core butt stock here i really like this is kind of a new company for me i did a review with their recoil reduction stock it's got a spring here other than that it looks almost the same you've got the two quick detach i really like this stock and then for the mag i've got the 6.5 specific um the ac or sorry the asc mag and that's what we're going to use for all the uppers okay so for the optic i'm going to use primary arms glx Okay, the ACSS Apollo, the 30865, and this one, I reviewed this, the GLX, the 3 to 18 by 44 FFP. I love this thing. I've got their PLX mount on here, and I did a separate review on this if you want to check that out. Quick, what I wanted to show is for each of the different uppers, I'm going to put the scope in the exact same position on the receiver, that way we have the exact same eye relief. We're just trying to cut down as many variables as possible. Okay, so this is what we're gonna use for the ammo. Uh, I'll show you that procedure here. We're gonna start off with the Wolf Military Classic. Uh, we've got a 100 grain full metal jacket, and then we'll jump over to Hornady's American Gunner, the 123 uh, grain bow tail hollow point, and then we will finish each of the groups with Hornady's Black, the 123 grain ELD match. So check out the procedure that we're going to use for each of the uppers.
Real quick, folks, if you're not familiar with my crazy, stupid deals, people always ask me, how do you get stuff so cheap? On my webpage, there's a place where you can go, and the link will be here and below. It's an email blast. You sign up. It costs you absolutely nothing. I send it out when I find crazy, stupid deals on ammo and gun. People love it. You really should check it out. I also do the same thing on my X page. That's more in real time. You know, when I find what I believe is crazy, stupid deals, um, I'll, I'll kind of gather them up and I'll send them out in the email blast. But the X pages, if an ammo one comes through and I know it's going to go out of stock, I'll, I'll do real time and put that there. You're going to want to check that out as well. It costs you nothing. Anyway, let's get back to the review. I almost forgot. I do need to point out because every now and then somebody contacts me and they're like, how do I buy this ammo? I don't sell anything. All I do is find the awesome deals and provide them to you. Okay, so we're coming off the freshly cleaned barrel. We're going to start off, we're just going to do, you know, it's cold bore, freshly clean. We're going to start off with the cheapest of the ammo. We'll do the wolf. That's 100 grain. We'll do five shots. We'll wait five minutes, and then we'll go through the different ammo, and then we'll switch guns. And that is absolutely an atrocious group. <laughs> it does not like the wolf. Okay, so now we've got Hornady's American Gunner, the 123 Grope Boat Tail Hollow Point. This is what I zeroed it on. Let's see what we get for a group here. Pretty respectable group. Okay, we're gonna wait another five minutes. So now we got Hornady's Black, the 123 Grain, the ELD Match. Let's see how that does. Okay, they're different. Uh, some of those are low. They're gonna maybe interfere with uh, the next group. I might run down and, and show you that real quick. We're gonna wait five minutes. Oh, those are nice groups, guys. Those are nice groups. That's actually a pretty decent group with the wolf. Wow. I think all of those are touching. Oh, and it had to be a flyer. That was the last of the rounds. Let's go take a look. All right, guys. There we go. So we have the Wolf, we have American Gunner, and we have the Hornady Black. And then we've got the BCA. So the BCA, that was the. The most affordable, I don't want to say the cheapest, the most affordable. This was with the Wolf. That's a pretty crappy group. Um, you know, that's that's actually not terribly bad. And then the Black actually opened up just a little bit. Then we move over to PSAs. Um, that was the five shots they were kind of stringing down with the Wolf. That's a really solid group. Okay, with the American Gunner. I always usually call those a flinch when you get that. And then the Black, again, really solid group and what we're doing is is we're going down at least by the prices that i found and then we have the radical firearms and that is the longest barrel okay the wolf it actually did really well with the wolf there's the five shots um there's five shots with the american gunner so we got three shots in there that's really solid and then the black again really solid group 
Then we go to the JP Supermax. There's three shots with the Wolf. I don't know why the Wolf does that. It did that with almost every single one. Then we move over to American Gunner. There's five shots. So one of these, I think that one has two. And then the black, you know, I'm going to call that one a flyer because we've got four shots there. It really comes down to the JP and the Radical. Man, I mean, look at those. They are really close, neck and neck. Anyway... You know, over here, this was just kind of sighting them in when I moved the scope. But there you go, guys. You know, it it is what it is. It's consistent, at least with what it cost somewhat. But you decide what you think. You know, I think this is good info, and I hope you found it helpful. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I mean, we've got, you know, this, the entire spectrum here of cost. Um, take a look at the groups. You decide what you think. I hope you found the video helpful. Anyway, until next time, happy shooting. Remember to educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time we're on the range, every time we're shooting, everybody's watching us these days. That makes us ambassadors, willing or unwilling, for the Second Amendment. So do us all a favor. Be a good ambassador. Be a safe and responsible gun owner.